Joy, joy, joy. Sunday evening in paradise. Well, there's the farmer. He's down there. You can hear him. Activity at the cow barn. It's been a gorgeous weekend. It's been a lovely cool day. Cool means warm, but not humid, not muggy. I had some guests, some friends from Toronto stop by on their way to Massachusetts, the Heaths. Shout out to Yvonne and Gordy Heath. And I was just going for my mo evening, I was going to say my morning walk. I feel so alive, it feels like morning all the time, I guess. <laughs> Look at that cloud. Every day is a new movie. The Simpsons. Ooh. Really is, we have Simpson-like clouds here. I don't know if anybody knows how to, after I zoom in, there we go, zoom out. No, but I can't. I don't know how to zoom back out completely. Maybe that was it. Joy, 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 Monica, welcome. Thanks for walking in paradise with us. I'm not sure if I have this fully zoomed out, but pretty good. Wave to Monica. Yasin Chowdhury. Joy, joy, joy. Thanks for joining us in Walking in Paradise. Hopefully you're outside walking in your paradise. Monica and Yasin, what where oh look at it. Did you see that butterfly go right past the right past the camera lens or just under it? I'm not sure. Roger Morehouse, Toastmaster. Hey Roger, I just got my DTM. Thanks for tuning in. So where are you folks from? What state or what country? This is upstate New York where I live and Roger Morehouse lives somewhere upstate. Susan is here. Joy, joy, joy. Thanks for the hearts and thanks for walking in paradise with us tonight. I was just going. There's a nice breeze. And I almost didn't do this because if it gets too breezy, it's hard to hear. The wind disrupts the audio microphone. But I just kept feeling such a pull to turn on this, to share the walk with everybody. Yasin is in downtown Albuquerque, New Mexico. Very cool. If you have a photo of your paradise, uh, send it over here so we can all see it. This is upstate New York. It's pretty far up. It's about three and a half, about three hours from the George Washington Bridge. And we are looking west right now. James is here. Howdy, James, from the easy way family. We're walking in paradise tonight. James, thanks for walking with us and tell us what state you live in. And Susan, I forgot which state you're in. And Monica, you could tell us what state you're in. I'm sort of scrolling through the names as I'm walking, so it's a little too shaky, so I'll be a little more careful. I want to get one of those sticks that have the motion on it. So even if you shake the camera, it's so fluid motion. It's like a movie. I think I'm gonna get one. It just, it looks worse here than when I actually watch it back later. It's such a beautiful breeze and ah, it's on my, coming from my back. Indiana for Monica. Monica's in paradise in Indiana. I hope she's in paradise. Or she's probably found some paradise. What's it like? What's the weather like in Indiana right now? Here it's probably 80. The breeze, you know, I've talked on these walks about the smells of the, of the hay and the smell of the pine trees. Here comes a little volume rush hour. One car is going by. Not even on this street, just noisy. So I've talked about the smells, the pines, the flowers, how beautiful they are. And I've talked about and shared the sights with you. And you've also heard the sounds. All of this is so intoxicating. Monica, super cool. Thanks for the super cool. 
picture. One thing I haven't talked about is the wind, the breeze. Everything has, gets you high. Everything is soothing, everything in nature, not all the time, but on these walks, when I pick the walks, the wind is just so loving. It's so caressing today. And there's a saying, if you're humble enough, everyone is your guru because you could learn something from everyone. I add to that, if you're humble enough, everything is your guru because the wind talks to you, the sounds of nature, the birds calling. Alan is here, joy, joy, joy. I think Alan is in Connecticut. I met him in Connecticut anyway. And we're walking, thanks for walking with us in paradise tonight, Alan. I'm talking about what I'm inspired about right now is everything teaches me something, some wisdom, some connection to nature. The wind tonight, thanks for the love, the hearts, guys. The wind is so caressing. It whispers answers, even if it's just calm, relax, everything's going to be okay. I'm going to just change this picture because I think I'm too zoomed in. There we go. It was just so shaky. I didn't want you guys to get dizzy. You have to, a meeting to get to. Well, thanks for popping in and walking with us for a few seconds. Join us. I do this, uh, what, I don't know, every couple of days. Whenever Spirit says, turn it on, people want a taste of this paradise to share. Love to you too, Alan. Joy, joy, joy. Best wishes. May you accomplish, may you realize all of your dreams and visions. Ah. So the smells of nature heal me. Your kind of country, mine too. Let's take a look on this side of the street. Look at that. Yeah, dreams and visions and nature shares that all, all the secrets, especially if I'm like feeling, oh, when is something going to happen? If there's some impatience or if I'm burnt out, I'll just step outside and get me some instant healing in nature. Or better yet, instant wisdom from nature. So if you guys have any stories, you know what? If nature's done something good for you, like the trees, touching the trees, they tell me stuff. Or smelling the air. Oh, I heard a snort. No, it's not a snort. It's a crow. It's a giant crow. Way, two crows way out there. I've done a couple of these videos here. Flor Florida's here. Joy, 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 Florida. Where do you live? What state? What country? A couple of the videos I've made here you might have seen on Facebook and Instagram. When I walk along this tree line, there could be 30 to 100 birds up there and they all leave at the same time and fly in a beautiful pattern. Nicholas, joy, joy, joy. Thanks for walking with us in paradise. This is upstate New York. What state or country do you folks live in? Nicholas in Florida. We have people here from Indiana and New York and Connecticut. It's a lovely evening. Another hour or so before sunset. Lovely breeze. Well, it looked like I might have just seen Who's that? Okay, that's not, uh, I thought that was somebody else. Looks like Gary, but I don't think it's Gary. All right, so share where you live, share your, what you love best about nature. What I, one of the things I love about walking in nature with everybody here, with all you guys, is we can actually have conversations and it makes it more like we're really walking together. So hopefully some of you at least are outside walking or sitting outside or looking outside. <laughs> some of you I know have been inspired and gone outside during these walks or afterwards. Add your photograph of your nature, even if it's like a local park or 
someplace you go to connect with nature, to find yourself more deeply, to center yourself. Right here, we are switching from the big field to a little more populated. We're going to come to some houses. Same thing on this side. We're going from the big field. More trees. I'm walking back there it is so you may have just lost me for a minute when I got to that point right there where we hit the tree line I lost connection and then I don't gain the connection until I get to the barn and even though I lost connection there I didn't get it till I walked all the way back here so I will I think it, it says recording uh, Monica says beautiful area you're starving have to go to the store <laughs> thank you enjoy your dinner enjoy we're enjoying our walk I'm glad you're inspired Monica and uh, go out for a walk after dinner all right and thanks for walking with us so this will keep recording you may not hear me for a minute it may freeze up for a minute but I'm gonna keep on walking and we'll be back I'll walk a little faster I'll try walking on the other side of the street so far, so good. We got our German Shepherd. No, not in paradise. We are still live. This is pretty good. We beat the system. So for some reason, the the vibe is here. Teresa, Teresa, joy, joy, joy. Thanks for walking in paradise with us. Tennessee, used to, yeah, well, this is what a lot of New York used to look like. Kind of got to come up to the mountains to, to be here. This is not what people imagine when you say you live in New York. Oh, that, shh. Barking dog. Oh, he's coming to the other window. So, yeah, people say you live in New York, they think of New York City. Well, this is about three and a half hours from New York City. And about 20 minutes out of town where there's two colleges. So it's a college town, Oneonta. And it's nice going to town 20 minutes, take my, my car in the back roads or the highway. It's still beautiful scenery, always, always, always. Live in paradise. Live your dreams. Live as close to your visions as you can. Don't put them off. Don't delay. Because when everything hits the fan, at least you're in paradise. <laughs> I don't know. I know I've been through Tennessee. 1972, my buddies, two of my buddies and I, a tent and a car, we drove cross country. And we drove through every state but Montana, I think. Or I've been to every state but Montana over the years. I don't know if we were in Tennessee there. But I know I've been there somehow, somewhere, sometime. Hey, Dan is here. Joy, joy, joy. How's the Chanji going? Miss you guys. Thanks for walking in paradise with us tonight. Okay, check this out, guys. This is paradise here. This is paradise. And there's a horse. Let's see if the horse wants to say hello. This is a rescue horse. It's very, who has been abused. Hello. Hello. He doesn't want to have anything to do with me tonight. He's very sensitive. And just recently he, oops, just recently he came by and uh, approached me again, but Normally it doesn't. So we're just enjoying that scenery there. Oh, hello. Here's a new pussycat. Oh, pussycat in paradise. This is such a friendly pussycat. Hello. Mm. 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 
Say hello, pussycat. Wow, this is the first time we got a pussycat in paradise. Well, she just came here the last few days. Showed up at my friend's house here and adopted them. Hello, Frida. Joy, joy, joy. We are walking in paradise. Thanks for walking in paradise. Well, we're actually in paradise. We aren't walking because this pussycat wants some, some, some scritching. What a, what a sweet, friendly pussycat. It's rare to find a pussycat out here in, in the country that's not afraid of people. So she must have been the loved pussycat. I can't really leave her now. I want to go for my walk and I don't want to leave her. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the love. Yes. Pussycat TV. Pussycat TV. Thanks for the thumbs up, Frida. So Dan lives in Albany area, Albany, Troy, New York. Frida, what state or country do you live in? This is upstate New York. And this is an upstate New York pussycat. She's figuring that I'm just her scratch post here. I'm just a human scratching post. Oh, 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 she wants attention. She's up on my knee here. She says, me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. It's hard to, to videotape her. She's just at my right hand shoulder here. Okay. Oh, here comes another horse. Very cool. See that horse? This horse is also was abused, sadly, and doesn't like a lot of human attention. So let's see what she does. If I if I kind of just ignore them sometimes, I gotta get my energy just in the right zone. Oh, rush out. Car's going by. So this horse is just hanging out. He says, oh, there's a human there. I might not want to see him. But if I come down to the ground level and shoot him through the fence posts, well, you could see him over there. Oh, there's a nice, oh, pussycat's on my back. Pussycat's on my back. This is the weirdest walk in paradise I've had. Less walking and more animals. Which is really pretty cool. Yeah, that horse has decided it's not gonna... Oh, now it's undecided. Yeah, sweetheart. So let's check out this horse in paradise. Try not to look at her because I've walked over here and she's actually seen me and turned around and walked away. Oh, the car's chasing her away too. Coming into the pen here. Hello, horse. Horse in paradise. Say, leave me alone. Hello. The other horse is in the gate there in the doorway. And the cat is rubbing my ankles. So I'm going to go for my walk some more. That was a lovely diversion. And I just feel so much better after being around horses and pussy cats. Even without the physical contact, just to be near them. Always wonderful. Oh, check out the sky. You can see the sun rays, hopefully. Can you see those sun rays coming out from the clouds? It's gorgeous. Oh, pussycat. Look at those sun rays. When I was little, like kindergarten, first grade, I used to think those were ladders to heaven. And they probably are. Oh, the pussycat. Look at this pussycat. He's performing for us. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, pussycat. Oh. Pussycat in paradise, clearly. Clearly in paradise. Scratch in her back, or his back, I'm not sure. Sweet, sweet, sweet. If I didn't travel so much, I'd probably have a cat, or a dog, or both. I used to have cats. I lived in New York City. Lots of love. Thanks for all that love for the pussycat. I'm sure it's for the pussycat. Oh. Oh. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't attack my ankle. I'm not wearing socks. Okay, let's try to walk again. Walking in paradise. I wrote a song, Living in Paradise. I forgot how it goes. Oh, it's, it's about a couple. I was visiting some friends down in, in Houston many years ago. Probably like five years ago. And I wrote a song about them living in their paradise. She was a yoga teacher and he was playing guitar. And kids were growing up and they were just living their, living their dreams. I don't remember how the song goes though. I don't know. If there was a way to put this on a brace so I could see it as I walked and my hands were free, then I could bring my mandolin with me and play those songs but that's okay that's a bit much <laughs> now we're walking into the woodsy areas hey Catherine is here joy 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 thanks for walking in paradise with us we are upstate New York Catherine and where are you what state are you in? oh guess what I've got a walking partner guess who's walking in paradise with us how sweet, how sweet. You just wanna, how do you not love such love? And I've always been blessed with pussy cats that are less, that are more, I wouldn't say dependent, but more social. You know, people talk about how cats are very aloof. I've had two cats, and this cat here also is very much like, like a dog almost, so. Come on. Come here. Come here. You want to come up here? You want to come up here? Ah. Yeah. So now I got the cat on my shoulders. Let's see if she likes that or not. She's starting to fall off. There she is. Ouch. There you are. You like this? You like it up here? Or do you want to come down? You want to come down? Yeah, you want to come down. Okay. All right, well, that was a little adventure. So, walking back in paradise. This cat is walking in front of me, trying to stop me. <laughs> Pussy cat. Pussy cat. See that? She's trying to intercept me. No, 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 no. Crossing, crossing me over. Pussycat crossing. Pussycat's crossing. Down here is our, not our, it's somebody's long pond. Pussycat crossing. So still here. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the love. Love, love, love. Back to you. Chris Newhart. Joy, 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 Chris. Thanks for walking in paradise with us. This is upstate New York. Can you hear the bullfrog? Plural. There's a couple of bullfrogs back there. This is upstate New York. Chris, where are you? What part of the country do you live in? What state? What I love about this is we can actually have real conversations and it makes this virtual walk in paradise as if we're really walking together, which we are. 
but we're communicating as we're walking. Ah. It's very still here, it gets very still. The other side of the street has become very dense forest. That's where we've come from. Meow. This is who's walking with us. It's my neighbor's new cat that adopted my friend. My neighbor. <sighs> Smells are cool and sweet. Just living in paradise. Well, so we're living the goal of life. The goal of life is to be in joy. And the more we can live in joy, the deeper we can live in joy, and the more we can be there to share that joy with others. And here comes rush hour. Joy, 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 AJ. Long time no see. He was so sweet, he slowed down to make sure he wouldn't interrupt the picture. And Pussycat has left us. Says, that's a little too far for me. AJ's up here in, in the Oneonta area. He used to take some great pictures of me with my harmonium. I don't know if he remembers that. Very good photographer. Great photographer. And it's, it, it's a lot sunnier on the other side of that cloud. But it does afford us some of those sun rays that come through. So we are rounding the bend here. It's a little bit of everything. This is one more open pasture. What they do is this grass grows up into tall wheat. And then they plow it down and put it into hay bales. And, or not wheat, but hay. And then for the winter, they feed the horses and the cows. And that's what the farmers do here. They have haying and they have cows. Those are the two big industries around me. There's some corn. Unfortunately, the majority of that is GM corn. And interestingly enough, almost all the dairy farmers in this area, three, four or more of them, are organic. I don't know about the farm that we just passed there. It was not organic with the last farmer. It was organic, he said to me, it's organic except for the grains that we feed them which is GM, which means that their milk is GM. So, but in town, like five, 10 minutes down the hill here, there's two, three dairy farmers that have been organic. I used to get raw cow milk. That was really cool. I made my own, uh, we call it paneer in India. It's in ricotta cheese in Italian. You just take like a, a bottle of milk and then you boil it and you squeeze in a lemon and then you stir it and then the curds and whey separate. And then you take those curds and that's your ricotta cheese or your paneer. If you've ever eaten at an Indian restaurant and seen Palak paneer, that's spinach and cheese cakes, cheese cubes. And that's how you make it. There's a little bit of an opening. Beautiful cloud, beautiful patterns up there. Look at that orb, that sun orb just sort of glowing up there. Let's see, ask it to raise up the cloud. So as I get to that mailbox right over there, we are going to lose connection as we do every day. And so I'll say thank you all for walking in paradise with me. Thanks for joining me in paradise. 
walk in your paradise, visit your paradise as much as you can. Live in your paradise, have joy in your paradise. And if you can't be in your paradise, try to find something to, <laughs> to be joyful about every day. And it grows. Consciously, we exercise our joy muscle. So I wish you all.